In this video, we're going to look at a brief example of finding the distance between two points with 3D coordinates. Let's start off now with 2D coordinates. If we have 2D coordinates, we have an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. So let's say we've got some point here and I'll say that that point is going to be 1, 2 and then we've got some pointers here and we'll say that's 4, 6. We could go ahead and find the distance between these two points. That distance is going to be the length here. If we think about this now, it's simply a little right angle triangle. We can see that the change in the x coordinate is going to be 3, the change in the y coordinate is going to be 4. So if I wanted to use Pythagoras, and let's just go ahead and put this on, this change now is going to be 3, this is going to be 4. So we could say that this, the distance, and just writing this down, let's go ahead and write this here, we could say that d squared would be equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared. So we could see that d squared is going to be equal to 9 plus 16, which is 25. So the distance is going to be 5. That's just using Pythagoras. We know it will be the positive as we don't have a negative for the length. In general, we can say that the distance is going to be the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus now y1 minus y2 squared. So if you consider what I've just done, I've said that the distance now is going to be the square root of 4 minus 1. That's the change in the x-coordinate. We square that, plus now the change in the y-coordinate, which is going to be 6 minus 2. If we look at this now, we have the distance is going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared, and we end up back here. What we're now going to do is look at this in 3D. When we've got 3D, we have three mutually perpendicular axes. This is quite strange to get your head around and on actually drawing it doesn't really um, look that 3D. This is going to be now the x-axis, this is going to be the y-axis and this is going to be the z-axis. So what we have here now is x, y and z. We've got the origin just here and we can see now that we've got three mutually perpendicular axes. So if we look at this, this is the negative z-axis, this is now the negative x-axis, the negative y-axis, the positive x, and then the positive y. In 3D, we say that the distance between the points is going to be the square root of x1 minus x2, which we need to square, plus now y1 minus y2, which we need to square, plus z1 minus z2, and we need to square that. That's going to give us the distance. So if I put a point just here, and I'll, put, I'll give this coordinates now. So let's say that this is going to be above. So what we'll say is we'll have now an x coordinate of 4, we'll have a y coordinate of 3, and we'll say now that we got a z coordinate of 1. So essentially what I've done is just taken some point out, and I've just gone across... So I've gone across, I've gone to now the left, and then I've gone up. So this is our point here. Let's say we now had another point. Let's put a point, and we'll put the point just here. Let's go for this point right here. So I'm going to give this now a negative x coordinate, and let's say that's going to be minus 3. We'll have now a positive y coordinate. Let's say that's going to be 1, and we'll have now a positive z coordinate. So at the moment, it's not easy to see that point, but this will give us some idea. So let's say that that's going to be now 2. What we want to do is find the distance. So if we look at this now, we're simply using 3D Pythagoras. So what I want now is this distance, and the distance is from this point to this point right here. All I'm going to do is plug it in here. So we can say that the distance will be equal to the square root now of x1. I'm going to take this to be x1. If this is x1, then this is x2. So we're going to have 4 minus minus 3, and we need to square this bracket. Plus now the change in y, that's going to be 3 minus 1, which we need to square, plus the change in z, which is going to be 1 minus 2, which we need to square. So we've used exactly the same here. So the distance is going to be the square root. This is going to give me 7 squared. This is going to give me now 2 squared. And then we're going to have plus 1 squared. So if we look at this now, that's going to give me the distance is going to be equal to 49 plus 1, which is 50 plus 4. And that's going to give us the root of 54. Let's go ahead and find that on the calculator. The root of 54 
that's going to give me three root six or 7.3 correct to one decimal place. So we can say D is seven point, let's check that, 7.3, and that now is to one decimal place. So all we're doing now is taking the square root of the change in the x-coordinate squared plus the change in the y-coordinate squared plus the change in the z-coordinate squared. This is 2D Pythagoras theorem, this is 3D Pythagoras theorem. It's called the distance formula and it allows us to find out a point, the distance between two points in both 2D coordinates and 3D coordinates.